Hi guys, welcome to Service Mentors. So my name is Shetan. Today I'm going to talk about how do you get SPGEN's profile based calls. I've been talking to a lot of students, and I what I've understood is that you know, a lot of students have been freaking out, saying that कि पता नहीं कॉल आएगा नहीं आएगा फॉर्म करना would be you know beneficial or not. So guys, this is what I'm going to clear. So I'm going to clear the air in this video actually. Now, if you if you look at this entire you know this entire fundamental is that. Getting the profile based call and converting that call, both of these are different things altogether. We cannot compare the intensity of getting the call with the intensity of converting the call because converting call will take more efforts. To be very honest, right? Now, as far as the getting call is concerned, it's actually doable and manage manageable. Now, why would I say that? See, there is a basic reason attached to it. Now, when you talk about a profile based call, a profile based call is predominantly based on your profile. Which includes a lot of stuff. It's just not your academics and workings. There are so many things about it, right? Now that's number one. Number two, why you can still go for it because profile based call has nothing to do with your CAT CAS score. I mean, they will definitely look at your CAT score, no doubt about it. But they, but if you look at the fact that you know your CAT score is going to be later on, SPGS profile based calls uh, and the interviews are going to be happening before that. So your interviews are going to take place prior to get the CAT CAS result in your hand. So that's for sure. Now, once you get your interview done, probably after that you know they will consider your score and all. And score is also not at a very high level. The bare minimum requirement is 85% level, which is absolutely manageable. Now, what we do not understand or what we miss on the point is that the profile based call is predominantly based on how do you fill the entire form of SPGEN. The forms are going to be out now on the 23rd of September this month itself. The last one is going to be 22nd November. So you have too much of time in your hand to actually sit down properly, do some stuff about your profile, and then write down your form. Trust me, trust me. If you look at SPGEN's form, they ask for all the nitty gritties. I mean, if you look at the forms, they will be asking you questions. Rather, there will you see the questions wherein they have mentioned that give us five reasons why you want to do marketing. Give us some reasons that why do you feel that you are the right candidate for finance. Give us this reason. Uh, why do you want to join the MBA program in SPGEN? Why SPGEN? Why X Y Z? So many things. So they are going to actually dig down. So the questions mentioned in the form are so clear cut. Or rather, the questions mentioned in the form will give a clear cut idea about your candidature, your attitude, your personality, your background academically, you know, work ethic, so and so forth to the college. So that's where that's where I say that it's actually doable and manageable to get a profile based call if you take care of your form. I have seen every year. I have seen so many students. They do very good with their academics. They have got great profiles. But when it comes to form filling, I think there is no proper form filling that takes place because the best students are not getting calls from SPGEN. However, I have seen so many students. They have done not really great in their life. The academics are okay. The work case is kind of an you know, okay style. But still, they have made. They are putting a lot of efforts on the form filling. They filled up the form very well. Clarity of thoughts. Everything is got them clear. And these guys got a call from SPGEN. It's not only that they got a call from SPGEN; they cleared it, and today they are in SPGEN. They are doing their MBA first day, second year. So, guys, these are the things that you need to take into consideration when you will start thinking about is applying to SPGEN. That form is going to be the most important thing, which will decide whether you will be called for the interview or you will not be called for the interview. Now, let's go back to the BC. Number one, which is the most important thing of your form, is going to be academics. Or this will help you. These are the things will help you to fetch a call from SPGEN profile based call. Number one, academics. Now, when you talk about academics, a lot of students will feel that okay, you know what? I don't have ninety percent. I don't have ninety-five percent. I am an average guy. I have always been in my seventies and all that stuff. Again, there are a couple of things that needs to be taken care of. When I say academics, number one, you got to be consistent with your academics. Let's say sixty, seventy, eighty. That's a good thing. The graph is moving the ladder up. That's a good thing. Second thing, the college is not asking you to, you know, score ninety four, ninety five, ninety six percent all the time. If you have it, it's good. It's an added advantage. But does that help you to convert a call? Not sure. It depends on the interview. So if you look at, even if you get ninety percent in tenth standard, and let's say you've got seventy and sixty, you're still a good student. You can still apply for the uh, uh, SPGEN. So again, when you talk about academics, it's not only ninety plus. It's about consistency or having that ninety ninety two. Let's say you know in ten, twelve, or whatever graduation and all that. At least once you should have it. If not, then seventy, 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 good enough. Sixty, seventy is also good enough. Depending on the other factors of your profile, which is work ethic, extra curricular, so on and so forth, right? So that's number one. So don't get so tense about academics. Coming back to the second thing, if you have work ethic, now there are two things in the work ethic. One is the quantity. So let's say you've got a work ethic of one and a half years, like. 
three, four, five years, it's a great deal, it's a good thing. Let's say you don't have it, right? Then the college will look at the quality. Let's say you've got a working some like, like eight months, 10 months, 12 months, 16, 18, 22, 24 months. Then the college is looking at the quality of your work age. So let's say if you feel that, you know, you're a BCom student or you're a BMS student, right? But your profile, the, the work that you've done for that those eight months, for those 12 months, in your domain, that work is really appreciated. That work is really phenomenal. You stand a good chance to get a confirmation vision because the work is you have quantity, which is number of years. But again, as a college, when they talk about profile based calls, they will also be looking into what kind of work that you have done. So if you're a BCom guy, has helped on, let's say you've been into the consultancy, let's say you've worked on the evaluation, let's say you've worked in the field of the derivatives, you have a good chance. If you're a marketing student, so you have worked, uh, let's say with the government institutions or let's say top notch companies, let's say in a market research or on a branding level, you've got a good chance. You're somebody who has done media and mass communication. You have worked for, let's say, a couple of media houses which are renowned in the country and you have done a good job. You still have a good chance. So it's a quantity and quality. So if you have any of these two, you stand a good chance to get a call from SPGEN. Number three, versatility. Now this is where you can play a lot, to be very honest, because it's not only academics and workers that they're going to ask you. Again, how do you put across your workings? People say that, you know what, I was working with, let's say, Infosys as a developer, and I was working with XYZ company as a developer. It doesn't look good, to be very honest. That's not how we fill the form. So there are ways to fill the form. Anyway, so I'm going to be conducting this workshop for the form filling. I will be telling you guys exactly how you should be going ahead with the form filling. If you are my student, let's say in Pune classroom, Mumbai classroom, or even if it's online, you are sorted for it because we're going to go one-to-one -one form filling. So we will be helping you on that front. But again, work is the way you put it, you know, your TRAs, your SLAs, so and so forth, would matter a lot. So work is already done with that. Versatility, it was a really you can write anything. NGO workage, social uh, media activity, uh, let's say digital marketing, finance workage, operations, HR, uh, you know, you've done a good job, like, you know, something to do with the committees in your college. You can write down so many things as far as versatility factors concerned. So that's where you have a good chance. So even though you don't have a work age, or let's say you're not really good with your academics, but you have done a lot of certification. Let's say my students have joined me for financial analyst program certification, right? It's a finance program that I conduct. Those guys, they already have a great advantage because they've started something to do in the finance field. So the aim is going to be around that. So that's where, you know, if you do these kind of certifications, will help you a lot. So any kind of certification, any kind of an initiative, any NGO work case, anything that you've been doing on social media marketing, all these when you bundle up, you stand a good chance to get a call from SPGEN. So college is not only we're going to looking at your academics and your work case and so on and so forth. They will be judging your profile on 360 degree perspective. They will be taking into consideration every small thing on your profile. Again, if you understand the math, right? See, when it comes to profile-based calls, all the colleges in the country or you know worldwide, this is the same thing. Profile-based calls, when it comes to giving call, a lot of students will get called. A lot of students will get called. Again, that's what I said. The conversion is a different ball game altogether. So having said that, you know, as far as you know, getting a call, a profile-based call is concerned, I don't see there are a lot of problems. So don't freak out if you have less academics, don't freak out if you don't have workings. You just gotta fill the form, but fill the form very, very critically. You gotta fill the form in a very structured way. You have to show that synergy, your work age or your profile and what college is looking at. You take care of those things, you're sorted for college. You will be getting a call from SPGEN. So guys, that's it from my side. I will be making a couple of more videos. I'll, I'll be keeping you guys updated on cat front, zap front, SPGEN and everything. So do subscribe to the channel. If you have not done, there will be a lot of content on your way, a quality, practical, logical content on your end. My, the entire channel, all the videos that I post, that's a feedback from students. I always believe in reality giving you something which is doable, telling you something which is crackable, achievable, and not talking in the air, not talking in the language of Ipshan but So guys, if you're interested, if you want that kind of a content, do subscribe to my channel, it's gonna help you. So guys, on that note, don't worry about exclusion, you will be sorted, I'll take care of you, fill up the form, and stay positive. Thank you so much.